As Nigeria prepares for the presidential election, we bring you exclusive interviews with President Muhammadu Buhari and opposition candidate Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party. We'll hear their views on security, the economy, and corruption. Nigeria's political landscape. The major campaign issues and the type of leaders Nigerians look forward to in 2019. The special edition of Africa 54 starts right now. Hello and welcome to Africa 54. I'm Chamberlain who saw our channel's television here in Lagos. I'm joined by Vincent Makori at Voice of America in Washington. Well, thanks, I'm Vincent McCorry at our global headquarters in Washington, D.C. Happy to be with you again for another edition of Africa 54. Let's start off with a look at the political landscape as Nigeria looks forward to the presidential poll in February 2019. Chamberlain Uso in Lagos brings you that story. As Nigeria prepares for elections in February, people are thinking about what type of leadership might carry the nation forward. Let's take a look at the political landscape and campaign issues. After almost 60 years of nationhood, Nigeria's political landscape still bears similar features as in the years after gaining political independence. Corruption, poor leadership, poverty, unemployment, tribalism and insecurity are only a few of them. Political campaigns are in top gear and candidates are promising to tackle the nation's challenges and deliver a brighter future. More than 40 candidates are in the race for the office of the president, including incumbent president Muhammad Buhari, whose party, the All Progressives Congress, ended the 16-year reign of the People's Democratic Party in the last presidential election in 2015. Despite records of rigged elections, the power of the ballot box has been evident on some occasions. In 1993, Nigerians voted overwhelmingly for business magnate Moshud Abiola. It was void of ethnic or religious bias. And in 2011, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan won the presidential election on the wings of massive support of Nigerians. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests and gentlemen, as weeks turn to days and the clock ticks, bringing the February election closer, all the candidates will be explaining how their manifestos can resolve the contending issues. And the loud whisper of many Nigerians is let the best man win. In an exclusive interview with VOA, Nigerian President Mohamed Buhari spoke with Ali Mustafa, managing editor of VOA's House of Service, about security, the economy, and corruption as the country prepares for a February presidential election. Ali also interviewed candidate Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party about the same issues. Today we bring you excerpts from those interviews with a focus first on security. Ali sits down with President Buhari. How much success do you think you might have achieved in tackling Boko Haram in particular? Well, uh, when we came in, Boko Haram was occupying uh, at least seven or eight local governments in the northeast. Um, and as you know, we have 774 local governments in Nigeria, but uh, the three states where Boko Haram was, uh, Yobe, Borno, Adamawa, and now you can check from people in the northeast that Boko Haram is not holding any local government per se. But what they have devised was um, in indoctrinating young people, especially girls, 15 years and below, um, wrap them up with explosives and get them to detonate it in places of worship, churches, mosques, marketplaces, motor parks, and so on. And they were shouting Allah for Akbar when they were doing that. But uh, we disabuse the minds of Nigerians, especially Muslim community, that God is justice itself. You can't go and kill people who haven't been arrested, interrogated, prosecuted, and uh, you know, and you kill them and say God is great. You either don't believe that God is great, 
or you don't know what you are saying. I think that helped us because uh, a lot of people uh, understand that the basic principle of Islam and um, they find it difficult to be recruiting people again. While well, VA's Ali Mustafa is speaking with Nigerian President Mohamed Bukhari, Ali also spoke with Nigerian opposition candidate Atiku Abubakar and asked him how he would handle the threat of Boko Haram terrorists if elected president. I need to understand what, why is it that we have been fighting Boko Haram for 10 years and we have not been able to contain, <clears throat> you know, Boko Haram. As I have often said, we fought a civil war with a very trained army, a Biafran army, and uh, we were able to subdue that, that army within 30 months. And here we are, a very large trained army belonging to Nigeria, and a bunch of young boys who just carry arms and just know how to shoot, uh, not well trained, holding back the Nigerian military for 10 years. No, I cannot why, under, why? I what cannot, you, what you I understand. I cannot understand, of course. I will have to study and, and try to investigate what's happening. Why should we be in this kind of position? I, from outside, I cannot sit down and tell you this is what is happening. Because in a war, there is more than what you see or what you read in the pages of newspapers or what you see on the television and so on and so forth. It's more than that. 